Hey guys! Alright, so I think the one thing that any uh, Apple user dreads is if a device stops working because usually it is quite expensive. Now, uh, one of my Macs has stopped working, I don't know why. Unfortunately, this one is out of the APP so it's got no protection plan anymore. It's more than three years old uh, and Macs have a habit of just like dying out of no reason. I've done my research, this is pretty much my last try. Now, to open the Mac, I've uh, like looked on enough stuff on the other one. Uh, to get this to work apparently, there's just one thing I can do. Right now, my Mac is just unresponsive so if I try and hit the button, Nothing happens. If I try and attach this, I don't even get the neon light I'm supposed to. Like nothing, nothing. Literally, it's, it's just dead. So what I want to be doing is I want to just open this up. Uh, the only thing is, I think if you want to open a Mac, you have to get a specific screwdriver. I got this one off Amazon. It was some two, three hundred rupees. Uh, you can try this with any other, but it's not really going to open. You will need to go and buy it. So I'm kind of hoping that this works because, I mean, if it doesn't, that's pretty much it. It's goodbye. I'm going to just have like one MacBook. And I've watched like a decent amount of tutorials before I'm doing this, so I'm hoping I could sort of have this right uh, because it just looks like there's one step. Now, the MacBook Air obviously does not have a removable battery, the earlier MacBooks used to, so it was a little bit easier. That is so, I can safely say amongst, I mean, I can safely say after years of using so many Apple products, I have literally never opened a MacBook on my own. Oh, I forgot to screw it. It is actually kind of exciting because I've literally never opened a MacBook. How cool is that? I did something new today. Ta-da! Oh, dusty. So boys and girls, in case you have never seen a Mac with its back panel open because I never have. So this is new. Look, it's up. And this is what it's looking like. Alright, check this out. Oh, I feel like my Mac is so naked. Okay, now with whatever little research I've done, apparently this is the part, this is the troublesome part, right? This right here, which you can see on, on the thing, it's here, the right? This apparently is the battery pack. What you're supposed to do is, you're supposed to just remove it. So basically, these are the four batteries, okay? This is one, two, three, four. These are the four batteries. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. I'm going to, in order to take this battery out, what you have to do is you pretty much have to just like pop this out of the socket and yank this baby out. So it's out there now. So essentially what I've done is I've disconnected the battery. So now look at it in a cool way. It does it does look nice, doesn't it? This is the point that I'm really hoping that my Mackie starts working again. Like it'll be so good and I'll be so proud that hey I fixed it. Because I mean if it doesn't work right now, this is pretty much the end of the road for this Mac. Alright, I've put the back panel on. Now remember before this, it's a little snappy sound so I know that it's connected and before this when I was putting the battery it wasn't even connecting like nothing there was no light I'm really hoping at this point there is a light because it will mean that something is going right oh god will please work now huh did you see that I got a light that is so cool can you sit wait I'm gonna show this to you properly okay I can actually put on the other light I'm so excited oh my god it's like I've saved like 80 grand I don't know why I give you a kiss, there is no reason for that, but look, it's like doing things now. I'm so excited, I haven't seen this Mac on in so long. Oh god, I hope that mono pawn opens, I don't know what I was surfing on this last. Now, the only thing I have to really do is after this, I have to make sure that uh, I'm gonna screw this in and I'm gonna connect the battery again, so it's gonna be fine. I wanna let this heat up for a bit because I'm not, you know, I'm not joking when I say that I can do everything. Like there are really times when I feel so proud of myself. I'm just like, I can do everything. I really feel so good. And that's the thing, I mean, you have to try it out. If I never opened my Mac, I would never know that I can fix it. Now, okay, interestingly enough, because obviously this is not powered through the battery, I'm seeing a symbol that I've never seen on the Mac before. Do you see that symbol right there? Do you see that symbol right there, this one? I've never seen that before because obviously it shows that there's no battery. So if I want to just go ahead and use my Mac like this, I can obviously just use it in a way that I have to just connect it to a power source and I can use it all the time. But obviously I don't want to do that. Um, I want, to be honest with you, I want to keep this on for a bit because I want it to heat up. 
All right, so part one of this video has been amazing. I'm so excited. Like, I'm so excited because I know most people who have a MacBook and they're like, hey, it's not working. You, have, It's pretty dead end because if you go to a Mac store, it costs very, it costs a lot. I saw a bunch of tutorials. Actually, it's really simple. Uh, first of all, open this again. So I'm going to take this out. And now I'm really hoping this also works as well. Okay. And remember, if you're trying this, you have to put the back panel on. You can't just do it without it because it doesn't. I'm going to go back and reattach the... I'm going to have to connect this back, which is... Easier than I thought. It's actually simple. You just put this back in. There you go. This is snap, so I know this is connected, which is amazing. That is so cool. I've never seen that. That's the fan of the MacBook Air. Look at it spinning. Oh, look at you working so hard, fan. Put this on. Before I screw everything in, I want to try and test this one more time to see how much of this is really working. So we know where we stand. Oh, oddly enough, when the battery is on now, it's not working. Look, the light is not turned. Oh, it's a bummer. I have a strange feeling that I'm going to be able to use this Mac only with the... Like, unless, of course, I feel like I did not attach that battery properly. Nah, that doesn't seem to be working. It's got no response there. Let's fix this a little bit. So unfortunately I've tried uh, whatever little I had to, it doesn't seem to be working with the battery on but hey look on the bright side, it seems to be working with the charger, I've got the other one, if I'm travelling I'm just going to take that, I think at home I'm good to use this if I'm editing, it's fine. Okay, I have a slight update, I know I said goodbye to you but I didn't really give up, so I tried this persistently, I detached the battery, attached the battery, uh, let it stay for a while, uh, what does that happen now, what's happened is I've connected the battery, okay, and even while I have connected the battery, the amber light is still sticking. It's funny how when I was going, I think it was because my dad would always keep doing like some handyman stuff. I love doing stuff like that. I love like take, taking apart like gadgets and doing some fun stuff like drilling in a wall, doing some stuff with like paint. Like I love all of that. It makes me so happy. It's so calming. Like it's so therapeutic. It's your time. I love that. Uh, I'm done, like I don't know, like I'm just hoping it works now, let's see because the, uh, the amber light is still there, which is all great, I'm gonna be careful when I feel so, because now this is pretty much it, I mean there's nothing else I can do about it, I would reattach the battery, it's all there, um, I don't know, like I'm just waiting to charge I guess. Okay, so this is pretty much make or break now, so I've let this sit for a while, my battery is connected, everything seems to be happening. Carefully turn this over because I don't want the amber light to go off. So it is okay. So far, so good. I'm gonna turn my mic on, and it is on. I can see a light. Oh, I think it's done. Oh my god, you have to see this. Look, 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 it's so cool. Because this was showing me that negative sign earlier, and just like that, superhero Paris has fixed another problem. I'm telling you, you put your brain to it, you can do anything. This here is the best part. If I had never tried this out, I would have never known that I can actually fix a MacBook Air. How incredible is that? Uh, sure, this may not have worked. That's a whole different matter. But look at the bright side. I tried it and it did work. So yeah, awesome. High five. Okay, bye. Oh, this is like music to my ears. Because now it's playing. I'm just showing off. You know, at many levels when you think about it, the story is really about not giving up. My Mac wasn't working, I didn't give up. I disconnected the battery, it was only working with the power source. I didn't give up. I tried it again, now it's working with the battery. I didn't give up. Actually, that's all I did. Bye.